tell you, this was 500 shillings. And what I loved about this shoe is, is it has two zippers and the shoe is in perfect condition, you guys. Hi, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Basics with Candy. So today I want to show you what I got from Gikomba. Apparently, I went back again and you guys, I don't think Gikomba is where one place where you don't want to go back again and again and again. I know the hassle is too much, but you know what? After that hassle and with all that hassle, it is worthwhile at the end. So I went to Gikomba the day before yesterday. I went to look for shoes and you know, I'm the budget kind of a woman and uh, my budget was between 100 bob to 500. So without much further ado, let's get into the video. So the first pair of shoes that I want to show you guys is these ankle boots. My friends, let me tell you, this was 500 shillings. And what I loved about this shoe is, is it has two zippers and the shoe is in perfect condition, you guys. It is in a very perfect, I wish I could, could show you the inside. It is in, it still even has the rubbers, the, the whatever stickers. So, I don't know like how often uh, it is not branded, it is definitely uh, made in China or oh, it's called uh, Iron Bow. I've never heard of that brand. But let me tell you, for 500 bob, this was such a steal. And then what happened, this shoe was not washed. It was very, very dusty. I think people are not noticing it because mainly it was dusty. But my friend, after I came and washed them today, ah, ah, ah. so the pair number two of the shoe I got, is this rubber shoe so i love rubbers because anytime i'm running errands around kamukonji Gikomba, i'm going to do minor projects and we're going maybe for a hike or maybe somewhere like craft somewhere where we don't need to be very presentable with hubs i love doing rubbers and i never have had a black converse I've, I've had white and yellow so this was such a good bargain and i got this for 350 bob well the starting price was 500 and they were already washed so for 350 because in town kwa street to sequel is always 500 i felt like it's a very good bargain so i really love this because anytime now i'll be going to Gikomba, i'll be doing this with no hassle other shoes that i got to you guys are these brogues I want to show you the, the sole, like the sole is very thick, like these ones, these ones. Also, I uh, these are the kind of shoes that, that I wear casually when I'm going out to maybe with friends in the evening on weekends, like going to chill out, somehow it's a bit casual. So guys, trust me when I say you'll be seeing me in this. I love, 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 love them. Another downside of this shoe uh, is that I bought them with no shoelaces. But trust you me, I was comfortable with them. The starting price was 300. I got this for 250 shillings. 250 shillings, yo. I felt like a queen. Like, pip that sole. See the sole? It's not that worn out. And for a second, that shoe, it is such a bargain, yo. Such a bargain. The other shoe that I got, shwee, shwee, shwee. Pip that on my brain. Like, this shoe, I had a sat the same pair two or three months ago. The same exact pair two or three months ago. This is what happened. We went to a friend's place in Nakuru and she stole it. As in literally, that was still, it is not even Kuomba. Like Nilifika Nairobi. And then she called me, she's like, ah, by the way, Nichuka sandals are And I felt so bad because, like, this sandal, the previous ones I, I bought in town for 600. So I decided anytime I go to Gikomba and I find such kind of a pair of a shoe, and uh, because they're shoes that I wear very comfortably uh, when driving and when I'm going for staycations and road trips and an easy weekend to chill out, and promise that the next pair I'm buying should be a cheap pair. So, guys, the starting price for this shoe was 500. I ended up buying it for 200. Yani, this one, I was a bit dramatic. Because I ni kaenda, then that lady called me back. And we just got to a point where she gave me the price that I wanted this shoe. It is not as new as the other one, but um, I think I'm content. And actually getting the same pair of shoe, 
um uh, i was content and the same design and the same and if there's something i like about this shoe anyone who knows me knows i am a color person i i really do monochrome i my only monochrome i think is a, a black on black of which i really do it I love color. So for me, I love the animal print or the print on it. So it was such, such, such a good bargain. That is why I say, Mujitole, Monte will come back. Look at it. Mujitole, please. Guys. The other way of sure I got is this sandal. Well, this sandal is a bit, uh, it's worn a bit, but I love this. It. It's so simple, very minimalistic. Uh, nothing much to it, but. Uh, it's something that can I can wear and I love the detail the black detail because it's very 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 fancy actually when I put it on it's very very fancy let me let me let if I can do a sample with uh, my hands to show you the detail is very very fancy so I really like it this is something I love flash shoes or sandals because when I'm going to dress on Sundays I mostly wear maxi dresses so for me maxi dresses are very comfortable with sandals not even on Sundays, you guys. Anyone who knows me, they, they think I don't even have any other pair of shoes. I am a sandals person. Anytime I enter into a shop, anytime I'm thrifting, the first thing I always get my eyes on are sandals. I don't know why, but I think eyes because uh, they are a bit free, like my they allow my legs to breathe. So this shoe or this sandal, I got it for a hundred bob. Reason because she was selling for me at 200 and I am next time but I told her I have no time for that. And with this, I'll go to my fundi just next to my house. He'll do it at 40 bob or 30 bob because I should be Sawa sawa. So this one, I, I feel so good about this one. This is this sandal. The only reason, actually this sandal is a bit worn out. But the only reason I took or I bought this sandal is because of these details. I want to take my time to clean them very well. I just wiped them, I could not clean them very well. I want to take my time and clean them. And after cleaning them, uh, I'll uh, polish uh, the leather because it's pure leather. I don't know what brand is it. Uh, I'll polish the leather with uh, olive oil and I will. this shoe will go back to something close to the original uh, or a, a mint condition. So I loved this detail so, 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 so much. And you know the good thing with sandals? Most people peep the front part or people uh, peep the front part mostly when you're wearing maxi dresses or maxi pants. The, the, or the most part that is seen is the front part, mostly with uh, maxi dresses. So this for me was a steal. I also got this for 100 bob Kenya shillings. You guys, you guys. For 100 bob the starting price was 200 but i managed to buy it for 100 bob kenya shillings the only technique you need in Gikomba is to know how to negotiate and to be patient with. other steel that i got ta -da! guys this shoe is new you... the camera is not even doing its justice so this shoe i got it for 150 shillings have you gotten something and like you're wondering, is this guy uh, serious? Like, does he know like how much money is losing it? Because if I got this, the same shoe in uh, where I buy my flat shoes in town on a street, I, I buy them from a certain guy, and I can be kanga my journey to talk six, back eight, because I'm that person. So the, that guy would have sold me this shoe for 600 or 700. So I bought it them from that guy. And the reason why I bought them also for that price, is because it was cheap. And I told him I was so much in a hurry that I didn't want an end. I ended up with a food and shone a So I told him, please let me take this shoe that way. The gentleman shone a man. My food will also do it for approximately 20 or that more because the TRC is Kubasana. But let me tell you the detail, my friend. The detail, the detail, the people, the detail. I. The, sometimes I just go to Gikomba and wonder, why would I go to somewhere and buy something that is new and the probability of me finding another person with the same kind of shoe or outfit is very high. The good thing with second hand things, uh, they are rare finds. It's very hard for you to find uh, someone around the same circle or the same event with the same kind of print. But with new things, it is very, very, very possible. People go to sleep to shop, you know what I'm talking about. So guys, 
for that amount of money this was a good one a good one so my last pair you guys is this moccasin and wah 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 guys I have never seen as a flip flops I don't have this flip flop as in I've seen these shoes for from like everywhere but every time I go to backyard it's like too fine every time I've gone to forever trend it's too fine 1500 and then find like that the modern monotonous type like they're all over the place so I promised myself that one day that I'll get this kind of shoe and a second second hard one I will buy guess what this was 200 bob they are also it is a bit worn but uh, I don't know what kind of brand is this it's a brand that I've never heard about but the detail my friend it is not even cheap so for that amount of money I was so contented you guys I'm so excited I, I wish like I have always shot or uh, you can always see my whole outfit but definitely that is never the case but I'm so 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 happy about this find so that is all and that is all that I got so what I can add to today's topic is um I know most people like previously have always asked me like where where exactly where can I get things and in Gikomba the hardest thing is sometimes for me when I go shopping, I don't even have time to ask for numbers from those people. Because anyone who knows Gikomba in and out knows that those people, um, the Gikomba, the people who sell in Gikomba sell in hours. Like Kutapata kuna watu wamengea shilti ya kutoka asubu impaka sasaba. Then the same stand of people, the same stand where that person is, kuna mtu mgea ngea shilti ya sasaba, mpaka sakumi kuza vitu zake. So for me, I find it very difficult to get those people's number. And uh, I have managed to have my favorites of where I think uh, I have only two numbers in Gikomba. A lady where I buy my top from, my tops from, and a lady I buy my dresses from. Any other time, it's random. And the good thing with uh, Gikomba or thrifting is you get good things with uh, random, random and spontaneous thrifting. There are times I go to Gikomba, I'm going to buy dresses, and then that day, dresses. I go to everyone I know and I find out that like, there's no dresses. And when I put to if it's street, maybe uh, clothes or palazzos, I meet them like in plenty. The, the days I'm saying like no, 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 no. and you go and you, you find the market is very dry or the prices are not that friendly or fair to you. So for me, maybe my secret is the more you go to Gikomba, what I'll tell you guys is the more you go to Gikomba, the more you learn the loopholes, the more you know you understand the market. Please be mindful of all the people like when you're going there, like telling you, oh, could you know what I'm saying? Sweet, you know what I'm Whatever, only oh, gonna pant. They always smell fresh blood, uh, fresh blood, sorry. So, I uh, don't go to Gikomba wearing makeup and doing blah, blah, everything. You need to look very ghetto. Wear your Ngomba shoes. Do a t-shirt and a jeans. In the kama moniji. And when you're in there, that that is when like you realize uh, the drift drifting is so easy for you, so very very easy for you. So for the people who ask me always, where do you buy this and this thing, this and this thing? It is so very hard to explain. What I say is, uh, Zoya kwenda kikomba. Uh, for those who will ask, and I know I get this question. At the shoe side, anyone who knows Gikomba na Sadia Kutoka is Lee, around, around the... There's a certain uh, ghetto there, I don't know like what that slime is called, but anyone know Sadia Kutoka na is Lee. Or rather, if you're using the main entrance ya Kutoka kuna Kamukunji, unaingianga na entrance ya Kamukunji, unaenda direct without kuingia any other place, unatokea Sadia Biatu. But as time goes by, you learn and understand um, the geographics of Gikomba. So that's all I had for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, leave a comment, subscribe, uh, tell me what kind of content uh, you would like to see next. As you can see, I just discovered that I have a very new favorite spot to shoot my videos that I've never known that can look that well in uh, my videos. That's about it, you guys. So I'm really loving this space. I know sometimes I go off chat, but anyway, editing is very difficult. A lot of things on your plate, uh, a lot of things to handle. Uh, but I, I want to make sure that I, I upload as soon as, uh, as, as much as I can. Leave a comment, subscribe, tell me what kind of content you like to see. That is all I had for today. And until next time, bye. How many minutes are those really?